might be easy to write She Will Punish Them Off as a sleep porn game, but necromancers who do that will miss out on some seriously good minimancy, because although She Will Punish Them is a very skimpy porn game full of nudity, it is also a game full of necromancy. She Will Punish Them is a game where you get to control and design a succubus with a huge army of permanent undead minions. The permanent minions are purchased with gold and will follow you around until they die. If they survive, they will earn experience from killing stuff and they will level up. You can then upgrade them with gold into a bigger, tougher minion. If you like Mountain Blade, it's basically the same system except with really cool undead minions instead of humans. You can also purchase scrolls which allow you to summon temporary minions. Minions from scrolls are actually useful too because Unlike in, for example, an Elder Scrolls game, where a summoned minion is going to poof into thin air after 30 seconds or so, minions from scrolls in this game will hang around for the entire level, and then disappear only when you leave it. This makes a backpack full of scrolls actually useful, because you can summon emergency minions in dire situations where your army has been defeated, or in situations where you need to protect your permanent army with some cheap meat shields. Scrolls also permit you to get access to better minions sooner, and also offer increased variety. In addition to your army of minions, you also have some fellow succubi to follow you around. These function like second main characters, and they can carry your stuff, be dressed up in gear, use spells, and all that type of thing. Most of the combat in the game is melee, but you can supplement your fighting with spells, or just let the minions do all of it for you. The spells available are Fireball, a Healing Aura, and a Cold Attack that slows enemies. There might be some other stuff they've overlooked that comes later on, but if it's there it's not that obvious in the skills descriptions. When you level up there's lots of skills you can improve, but most importantly there's a skill that raises the scroll summon limit, and another one that increases all party damage. This will buff your permanent minions, as well as your minions from Skulls and your Succubi friends. There's a lot of variety with the types of undead you can have. I haven't been playing for very long at all, only a few hours, but so far I've unlocked all kinds of skeletons, a wraith, different types of draugr, and some orcs. Add to this your Succubi friends and whatever other minions may come further down the line, and you're really quite spoilt for variety in this game. This has been a quick little look at the game, but I've seen enough to give my verdict. I'm scoring She Will Punish Them a 9.5 out of 10 for its minion mechanics. As I said earlier, it's very similar to how stuff works in Mountain Blade, but throws summons from scrolls in on top of that. I really like Mountain Blade, so this type of minion system is something I enjoy a lot. If you're a woman and you're thinking this might not be your cup of tea because of all the nudity, you might want to rethink that because you can play the game completely clothed if you want to, as long as you don't mind the jiggling of your boob and butt physics as your character moves. The character customization is also pretty extensive, so you can probably de skimpify yourself if you want. Anyway, I think this is a less known gem. I hope this video has been useful to you in your quest to find something fun and decent to play. I've got more videos and necromancy stuff coming soon.